All right, it's time for Pop News. Paula and, uh, and Ron are having an argument over there, so Kana, I will pay attention to you. Kana is in for Sarah Haynes this morning. Very happy to have you. Great to have it. you, Kana. Oh, it's so nice to be here, everybody. I think that Chris Hemsworth is a pretty good place to start for Pop News right. this morning, right? I think so, too, yeah. So, you know, he might play a superhero on the big screen, but not even the God of Thunder could defeat the Himalayas. The star opening up on Jimmy Kimmel Live about how he suffered from altitude sickness and nearly died while trekking in the Himalayas with his wife. But apparently, um, the oxygen in my lungs, the next stage was oxygen in my brain, and then, good night, we wouldn't be sitting here. You so. need a new travel agent, is what That's you what need. <laughs> Different vacation. He said that he started getting sick at 10,000 feet. By the time they reached 13,000 feet above sea level, he was basically losing Whoa. his mind. And the conditions Whoa. were not great either. It was cold. They had to sleep with their water bottles in their sleeping bags so that the water didn't freeze at night. Oh, that sounds like a vacation. Right. This and is how why you go to the beach on vacation. <laughs> yes, I know. True. How tough of his, is his wife, by the way? Yeah, she sounds she pretty tough. Fine. She was totally fine. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> and summer might be right around the corner, but you know winter is coming. Yes. The next season of Game of Thrones opens up April 24th, and the studio has decided its employees deserve some extra sleep for staying up late to watch the premiere. The HBO show airs at 2 a.m. in the UK to coincide with the broadcast here in the U.S. So <laughs> this half day vac is vacation company policy and they get that for the first episode of every season. It's included in their handbook listed as a oh, perk. Nice. Also cool. listed, by the way, warning to American workers, they're not allowed to spill any secrets. Remember that happened last season, so now only the president gets to view these before anyone else. Yeah, well, I mean, people get really angry when you release spoilers on yeah. a show like that. And I've sure. had that date marked on my calendar for a while. I'm, I'm so, excited. so excited. It's date Winter night again. <laughs> it's date night again in our household. Oh, nice. So Game of right. It's a yes. romantic show. Put the kids very, to bed and watch Very, very romantic. <laughs> Honey, the kids are in bed. Let's watch people kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you've been married 15 years, <laughs> sometimes that. Synopsis. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so from the land of fire and ice to celebrities dripping in it, it was a girls' night out for Jessica Biel, Naomi Watts, Reese Weatherspoon, accompanied by their friend Tiffany. Looking closely at the diamonds, everybody. Ah, the jewelry company Tiffany. celebrating their blue book party. They made these ladies shine bright like diamonds. And now, new mom Jessica Beale saying she loved it all. These moments, you take your own. You do a couple of like silly, silly, uh, personal, what are these called? Selfies. That's mom brain for you. <laughs> Don't that you is mom that? brain. Absolutely. Uh, and speaking oh. of selfie, this is one that Reese posted saying, whoa, all these jewels, enough said. She said, what's better than having breakfast at Tiffany's, having dinner wearing Tiffany's? I'm sure. I'm going to wear sure. Tiffany's next time I watch Game of Thrones. Take it to the next level. All encompassing. Hey, you like Kana, that? what's next on Pop? <laughs> okay, now this, <laughs> okay, this story is for you, Dan, and it's one of my favorites. Uh, we've got a dad and daughter duo who summoned the force to pull out a wobbly tooth. Watch this. Wait a second. What? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. You just yeah, saw nice. that. Nothing says family bonding Whoa. quite like the Star Wars themed dental procedure that was the Millennium Falcon. I don't know how many parsecs it took, but that was it. <laughs> Ripping out the tooth, she screamed, I love you, Chewy. Very good use of the word parsec there. I'm impressed. Right. Technically, impressed. though, it's a measure of distance, not time, right? So I, I can't. I have no idea, that. but no. I like yes. it. Anyway, thank you, Kate. A great yeah. job. We'll see you tomorrow morning right here on GMA.